When it came to your parents, mm -hmm. you mentioned your father in this interview, and you also mentioned the phrase jail. Yeah. Was it county jail specifically, or was jail short for prison? Jail, um, short for prison. Like, he got booked, like, because he did some dumb stuff. And he had served four years, then he got out. My mom, well, me and my brother told, him, told us to ride with her to go pick him up from the jail. Ride was like an hour 40. And then picked him up. Then he was going to live with us, but a whole bunch of other stuff went down. Care to shed some light on that? Um, no, nah, he just, no. Nah. And was it state prison or federal prison? State. Now, prior to him going to prison, did you grow up in a two-parent household? No, nah, single. My mom was a single parent whole life. My dad was in and out of my life on weird stuff. I don't like that. Do you know why your parents split? Yeah, he abusive. And like, he real aggressive. Were they ever married technically at one yeah, point? They, they, I don't even think they got divorced yet. They just separate from each other. They never got divorced, like they never signed. What age were you when you were, when you would consider your mother being a single mother? What age was I? Yeah. Like four, like my pop was never around. Like it was just her. He was never there. He'd come like once a year type shit, on um, weird stuff. Always trying to like tell us what to do, and we wasn't going. I wasn't. Would there ever be times you would live with him as you? Yeah, were I moved with him when I was in ninth grade, and that changed my whole life. Care to shed some light on that? Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, I, I appreciate me, like, moving with him only because of the simple fact that my mom, discipline level was way different than his. Like, he was more aggressive, like I said, but my mom wasn't as aggressive. Like, she was more, like, light touch. Like, she'd give you a chance to do something. My dad won't give you a chance. If you don't do it, you're getting, like, you're getting slapped type stuff. So, it's like, it was a difference. So, I didn't like living there, but me moving out of there, it gave me, like, a real good eye on who to be type stuff is like I seen like the boundaries, like what not to do, what to do, what's cool, what's not. Like I appreciate them. Like I always say thank you to my dad and I love you, my mom. Like, like, no, like I'm sorry to my mom and thank you to my dad type stuff. Cause I used to treat my mom a certain way that I shouldn't treat her. What age were you when you realized that? Um sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. I realized that, I said, I kept saying sorry to my mom every day. And I was saying thank you to my dad later on, like going towards 17, because I was realizing like what not to do, because it's like, it's not cool. But I moved out of my dad's house when I dropped out type stuff. And you're referencing high school? Yeah. What grade were you when you dropped out? 11. And what high school was this? That was... Simon Gratz, I think. I think it was Simon Gratz. Yeah, it was Gratz, yeah. I and, cannot go there. And what was your reasoning back then of dropping out? The reason why, I ain't gonna lie, I dropped out. It's like, I try, like, I always get good grades, but, like, the way I acted, I'd be done my work first, and i just start problems in class. Like, I'd be too loud. i move chairs too much. Like, i just do dumb stuff. And it's like, as I mature, it's like, I realized, like, I don't need to go to school. Like, I'm, go I'm, I'm waking up every single day just to go to school. Not that it's okay not to go to school, but it's like, I feel like I grew up too fast. And it's like, I can't be around y'all nut-ass niggas. Like, these niggas my age, but they don't act like me. Like, I'm more, like I click more with, like, people that's older than me. And that's how I've always been. Why do you think that is? I don't know, like, when you grow up in Philly, I ain't gonna lie, you experience a lot, a lot. Like, besides just being at home, like, you experience a lot just, like, being in the world and city of love, brotherly love type shit, that shit, dangerous. I don't like it. Now, you mentioned a brother mm -hmm. in this interview. 
But I want to dissect this a little bit further. Right. How many siblings did you have, same mother, same father as you? Um, same mother and same father was Jeffrey. That's my only, like, blood, straight blood brother. My step sibling is Jahira. Um, that's my dad daughter, not my mom daughter. And I mentioned my brother, Swaby. He not blood. He, like, more on a loyal side brother. Like, that was, yeah, that was my best friend type shit. Okay. When it comes to your biological brother, as far as same mother, same father, is he older or younger than you? Um, he older. Okay. Yeah, well, he a year older than me, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so when it would be under the roof of your mother, it was both you and him living yeah. under that roof? It was just me and him. And then my cousin moved in. Where is it? Younger cousin, older cousin? Older cousin. My mom was taking in foster kids and all that like it was a lot this cousin was on your mother's side or father's yeah, side yeah my mom's side now when you would be under the roof of your father for that time that you referenced in this conversation uh, that stepsister mm -hmm. she would be under that roof yes okay with my stepmom and refresh my memory she was younger than you yeah my little sister okay Now, what was that like in a sense? Like living well, like that? Well, let me, let me kind of direct this question a little bit better. Okay, what was that like under the roof of your mom, you being the youngest between you and your brother? And then what was it like being the, being the oldest when it was, you it know, was, under the roof of your father? It, it was like weird. Like on some stuff, like it wasn't like, it wasn't that weird. It was just like new and like to get more like used to like when you older they expect more for you to do for your younger sibling i don't know why because my brother never did that it's like with my big brother i was more like on the big brother side than he was and it's like i wouldn't do too much to like fulfill that spot it was just at my dad house it's like i wouldn't give her that much attention and they would walk up to me like why are you not spending time with your little sister? Da, da, da. And it's like, I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just something I wasn't used to doing. Feel me? I moved in there when she was three. Yeah, she was three. So it's like, she already lived her life. I didn't already lived life without a little sister. So it's like, me getting used to that, it's a lot of change in living with my dad. But I, I like it and I accept it now. What's the difference living with a brother versus living with? Uh, well, let me actually back it up. What's the difference between living with a male sibling and a female sibling? Um, truthfully, it depends who the male and female sibling is. If the male sibling, older, is like, it depends who they actually are. Like, me living with my brother, it wasn't that big of a difference than living with my sister because I still had to clean up after their mess. I still had to deal with how they are. And it's like, the difference between that I was like fighting my brother. I would never touch my little sister. So it was like, I wouldn't argue with her, nothing. Like when she cried, she would go to her mom. And it's like, I wouldn't talk to her mom. So it was like, I don't know. Having both experiences. Now, if, if you answered this next question I'm about to ask already, you could skip it. But if not, you can add on to it uh, or answer it brand new. Uh, as you have never answered it before. But uh, having both experiences, mm -hmm. one roof, you're the younger, another roof, you're the older. Uh, what did that teach you? What did you learn from those experiences there? I don't I know learned, if you want to say this answer separately or as a culmination of both experiences, but... I don't want to say a combination. I, I learned, like, more, like... My mom... All right, look, I want to say this. My mom always said I was a leader, and I never accepted it because I never seen it because I ain't gonna lie, I used to be a follower. I used to see something that I like and I like want to do it. Not even remake it, I just want to do it. So me experiencing that along with how my dad treated me and my mom treated me, me living with my siblings, it made me feel like a leader more, like how to like respect each and every one of them. Like, cause it was like me living with my big brother, it's like I treat him a certain way 
because of like the past. And it's like, you don't hold grudges. My sister is like, me dealing with her, it, it was just, it was just a lot. And I just want to say all together, it's like, it built more leadership type stuff. Now, are you the only member of your family to do social media? Well, let me rephrase that. Are you the only member of your family to be an influencer? Yeah. They all call me weird. Oh, none, none of my family mess with me. Like, that's how I feel to this day. And they act like they do now, but I don't talk to none of them because how they treated me before. Before I even did any of this, like, before, like, they say I, I wouldn't be nothing. They say I'm going to wind up either dead or in jail. But I understand because that's how I was acting when I was younger. But it's like, you don't say that to a person. Like, that scarred me for life. Like, I don't mess with none of my family because of that. None of them. I ain't going to lie. Now, you used the phrase weird a few different times in this conversation. What is your defi What do you mean by that when you say it, or what's your definition of that when you say it? Like, when I call somebody weird, it's like, you odd. Like, you're a weirdo. Like, I just look at you as a weirdo. Like, you, yeah, mm-hmm.